Welcome to Aravaipa Canyon. Today I'm going to take you through one of the most interesting side canyons of Aravaipa Canyon called Hellhole Canyon. Combining expert content on outdoor adventures with videography tips and tutorials. Visual Adventures with Kurt Papke. First, let's chat about why you might like to make the journey to Hellhole. It is perhaps the most accessible and certainly the most impressive of all the slot canyons of southern Arizona. The walls reach to a height of four to 600 feet, and as we'll see, it narrows down substantially after you get past the entrance, which is what you're seeing here. Though not as impressive as Buckskin Gulch or Pariah Canyon up near the Utah border, it's a lot easier to get a permit for Aravaipa, and it's only a few hours drive from Tucson. It is, of course, impossible to capture how sheer the walls are, or how impressive the scale of the canyon is in images. But hopefully, you can get an idea from this video the sense of majesty one can feel when walking through this canyon. The second reason to visit Hellhole is its riparian nature. All of Aravaipa Canyon is riparian, but the special microclimate formed in Hellhole is different. The springs, pools, and seeps are much more noticeable here. The dripping springs are really peaceful, and the profuse vegetation that grows out of them in the shady canyon is not something you commonly see in Arizona. The ferns in particular are exceptional at this elevation in southern Arizona. The walls of Hellhole Canyon are made of a rock called Hellhole Conglomerate. Hellhole Conglomerate was formed by cementation of broken volcanic fragments from the nearby Galliero and Santa Teresa Mountains. The matrix is quite susceptible to erosion, which helped in forming the canyon, and the boulders left behind make walking in Aravaipa Canyon quite a challenge. Erosion formed the hole that gave this canyon its name. We don't know exactly how it got the name, but we can imagine how pioneers must have felt about crossing this canyon on foot as they were standing in the blazing Arizona sun. You'll also see some nice caverns in Hellhole, though there are no true caves that I know of. The acoustics of a slat canyon are unique, so about five years ago I hiked into Hellhole Canyon to record some music on my Native American flute. Listen to my voice and the flute for the natural reverb of this place. Carlos Nakai, December snow. Changes. I've been to Hellhole three times now, and Aravaipa many times more. Why do I keep returning? For me, it's the special character of the light in the canyon bottom. This time-lapse video captured at sunrise at the mouth of Hellhole shows how the desert comes right down to the creek as the sun lights up the swarrows thriving on the north side of the main canyon. To really appreciate the lighting, you have to walk in it when the sun is low in the sky in early morning or evening, which means camping that night fairly close by. So that all sounds good, but how do you get there? There are two trailheads on either end of Aravaipa Canyon. 
The West Trailhead is less than an easy two-hour drive from Tucson. And though there's some gravel roads, you can get there safely in a sedan. The downside is you have to hike almost the length of Arabipa Canyon to get to Hellhole. And it's much harder to get a permit because the short, easy drive makes it very popular. The East Trailhead, on the other hand, can easily take four hours from Tucson. And about a third of the miles are on remote gravel roads. Make sure you've got good tires before you go. There's also a number of river crossings as you get close, so you'll need a high clearance vehicle. And if there have been recent rains, the road can become impassable. The good news is it is much easier to get a permit for the East Trailhead. And the campsite at the mouth of Hellhole Canyon is terrific and just a short hike. Once you've set up camp, the entrance to Hellhole is just a few minutes walk. The best part is, it's mostly a dry hike. So if you're going to spend the day in Hellhole, you can have dry feet for a day. Once you make a right turn into the canyon, the stunning huge sycamore trees jump right out at you. Just keep walking on the gravel. It's impossible to get lost in this canyon. Hey, I hope you will visit Hellhole Canyon and that this video convinces you that a trip there is worth the effort. If you found this video useful, please click like or subscribe down below by the show notes. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.